So we're here at the F-35 production facility in Fort Worth, Texas. Behind me you're seeing approximately 65 airplanes that are in flow to be built and later delivered to either the United States or international partners. At any one day, we have about a thousand people that specifically work on this line. Within time and as we go forward, you'll see about a thousand more people uh, to be hired here over the next three or four years. We'll almost double in that time to a point where we're producing almost 200 planes a year from the plant here in Fort Worth. In order to do that, we have to do a lot of changes to this plant. Currently, we're taking out all of the old World War II concrete and we're relaying almost 300,000 cubic feet of concrete in order to build brand new assembly stations. Right now, we have about eight assembly stations. We'll eventually have about 17 that will allow us to produce those 200 a month. At the same time, out on our flight line, we currently have about 17 hangars that we check the airplane out with and fly it. That will double to nearly 34. At the same time, we have the ability right now to paint or put the stealth coatings on about eight aircraft, and we're going to double that by building a brand new facility so we can do about 16 to 17 at a time. All of that put together means by the end of the decade, we'll be producing almost 200 jets a month right here in Fort Worth. After it comes out of the factory, it goes out to our flight line where we do fuel checks to make sure it doesn't leak, we put the stealth coatings on it, and we actually fly the jet. And it's not just for the United States. While we do deliver for the Air Force, the Navy, and the Marines, we are currently also building jets for Australia, for the United Kingdom, for Norway, for Israel, and for Japan. And you'll see all of those deliveries happen within the next year and a half.